Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week, Wendy Posner's misgivings about Tom and Bell King's ostensibly ideal marriage intensify. According to Emmerdale spoilers, many may be taken aback by Tom's sudden possessiveness, but nobody is aware that he has been hiding a terrible secret. Months of emotional and physical violence directed towards Belle. Scroll down to learn more. According to Emmerdale spoilers, Wendy believes there is a problem with Tom and Belle's marriage. Tom will be behaving possessively this coming week, but he doesn't know that he has been mistreating Belle for months. He tells Belle that once the kid is here, their lives will be better. Later, at the cafe, he tells his aunt Nicola King and Rona Goskirk about Belle's pregnancy, which causes the word to travel swiftly around the hamlet. But according to Emmerdale's spoilers, Belle is shocked and dismayed when Tom tells everyone about their pregnancy so soon. When Belle asks him, Tom tells her that they should rejoice over the news and that nothing bad will happen. He is a dement that although now might not be the best moment, everything will work out. As the week goes on, Nurse Wendy observes that Belle seems anxious during their visit to the surgery over her pregnancy. Furthermore, according to Emmerdale spoilers, Tom increases Wendy's misgivings by requesting that she tell him about all of Belle's prenatal visits. Not long afterward, Wendy subtly advises Tom to spend part of the appointment outside. She uses his reluctance to leave the room as an opportunity to have an open conversation. She says she must give her an update. Is everything all right? She asks again. The nurse encourages her to keep in mind that anything she shares will remain private. Belle makes a suggestion that Tom's revelation of his early pregnancy is bothering her. The scenes that follow show Tom and Belle at home getting gifts. There's even a kiss shared. Belle's smile vanishes, though, as Tom walks away. Will Wendy go up to Tom? We shall see. Additionally, keep watching TV season and spoilers for more Emmerdale spoilers. With Tom King and Belle Dangle involved in a terrifying coercive control plot, Emmerdale viewers are eager for him to go. Fans of soap operas have recently witnessed Tom manipulate and isolate his partner Belle in emotionally charged moments. Recent episodes have even shown violence, and last week Belle's attempt to escape Tom backfired as he was horrified to learn in a series of terrifying scenes. She is still firmly in Tom's grasp, and he has kept her apart from Charity Dingle and her own family. Charity, though, is certain that something is off and is committed to finding the truth. She is aware that Tom isn't who everyone believes him to be, and that Belle is hiding something. Charity hasn't been able to fully persuade anyone else that Belle might be in trouble yet. But even if Belle won't talk to her, she has made up her mind about Tom. The audience is fervently hoping that Belle will be saved and that bad Tom will disappear. But what is known about the character's departure thus far? Producer Laura Shaw of the soap opera revealed last month when viewers might expect Tom and Belle's coercive control plot to conclude. Actor James Chase has hinted that an exit will probably occur, raising concerns over when Tom will be revealed and whether he will have his commitments. In response to a question about the character's shelf life, he said Tom had to be discovered and punished. However, Laura, the producer, may have hinted at Tom's departure date and the eventual resolution of the plot. One of the soap opera's major Christmas storylines and the drama scheduled to air throughout the holiday season may have been exposed by Laura's clues. We said right from the beginning we wanted to tell the story as truthfully and authentically as we can, she said to the Mirror and other media. This is something that takes a long time to end. It doesn't end in a few weeks. The plot will continue till the conclusion of the current year. Viewers can anticipate. Saying the end of the year suggests that Tom's actions will probably be scrutinized over the holidays. 
Laura might have been talking about his leaving sequences or possibly the point at which Belle starts to accept her mistreatment, which means Tom might be discovered far sooner. However, given that she stated that the plot will continue until the end of the year, it's possible that Tom may remain on screen until then. This might indicate that a Christmas exit or tense sequences involving the two on this day are in the works. As for Tom getting his commitments, James stated, I think it has to happen because it's what he deserves. Nothing can get away from him. I'm not sure how it will finish to what degree. Belle and the audience both require justice for what has happened to her. Either she prevails in the end or he does not. Actor Ash Paul Meshano of Emmerdale created history by portraying the show's first transgender character. Since making his on-screen debut as Maddie Barton in 2018, he has taken part in a number of difficult narratives. Maddie was imprisoned most recently for inadvertently stabbing Samson Dingle. Maddie was just carrying a kitchen knife when Samson was pushed by transphobe Josh, Ocean Morgan. In later moments, transphobic prisoner Rabba will learn Maddie's true identity from his wife, Amy Wyatt, who will mistake him for Les, his accepting cellmate, putting Maddie in a terrible scenario. Is Maddie really in danger? Rabba confronts Maddie in his cell and admits that he knows the truth. Learn more about actor Ash's private life away from our TV screens as the aftermath from the stabbing unfolds. Ash Paul Michiano is 34 years old, having been born in January 1990. Ash Paul Michiano is an actor, poet, writer, and narrator who is a master of several crafts. Originally, through a charity called All About Trans, he was invited in to advise Emmerdale on their new transgender character, after that, they invited him to try out, and the rest is history. He called the role and the casting a huge thing, adding that he has been pleasantly pleased by the response he has gotten. He was the first transgender actor to perform on the RSC stage, and his IMDb biography states that he has also performed for the Royal Shakespeare Company. Before, Ash maintained a YouTube account where he shared guidance videos spoken word poetry, and brief posts. His character Maddie was ecstatic to get top surgery in April 2019. Ash said at the time, I think at the time we were going to go down that path. In reality, there are huge waiting lists, and it was locked down and surgeries weren't happening in the UK. Thus, I firmly think that Emmerdale and I both exhibit true reflections, and when the time is right, it could be something really exciting to explore. Manny has experienced some um, upheaval in his life, including balancing his hormones, anticipating surgery, and attempting to manage this relationship. He has never talked to others about it and has always handled things on his own. He went off to transition on his own and struggles to express his emotions. I came to the conclusion pretty early on in my life that I might be transgender, but there were no characters or role models for reference. Ash wrote in a 2021 article for Metro.co.uk. In fact, I struggled to find the right words to describe how I was feeling. I kept it to myself out of fear of rejection or being labeled as weird or not normal. I was very fortunate to have a very supportive sister who I was able to talk to. He stated, It changed my life to be able to express myself and examine my ideas in a safe environment. I quickly realized that being my true self was so much easier. I was no longer having to act a role in my everyday life with fantastic support. Basically, I'm just a guy who came here by taking the scenic route. During his time on the show, the character has encountered a lot of transphobic remarks. Most recently, Claudia Anderson denied Maddie and Amy permission to use the village hall for their wedding after discovering that Maddie was transgender. Regretfully, Ash recently disclosed that he has also received criticism. Similar to Maddie, I have encountered trolling. He told the Mirror, I've heard disturbing threats and horrible language. He clarified 
it's partly because there isn't enough information about being transgender. I've received nicknames such as that tra asterisk 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 E from Emmerdale. Once a man who was obviously drunk approached me and said, no matter how hard you try, you'll never be a man. He was hostile and angry. Though I'm sure he'd had a few drinks, he had to be aware of the potential harm, right? There will always be transphobic remarks in scenes where I've been involved, but there will also be positive messages. Regretfully, Ash recently disclosed that he has also received criticism. Similar to Maddie, I have encountered trolling. He told the mirror, I've heard disturbing threats and horrible language. He clarified, it's partly because there isn't enough information about being transgender. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.